Hello. Who are you? Don't mind me. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can sneak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Thelia. The whole story has already come to an end. deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear him too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. They've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? see it too. You promise? Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call Hells. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching them. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She was afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. there just out of sight where you're most vulnerable it's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Brave.
slavery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far, far deeper. too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge me. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. Penny pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. story, Senua, because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. Do not forget my story, Senua, because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold.
the river of knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at peace. She needs to make him to rest. He's already dead. She can save him. There's nothing she can do. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. She does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path to it. Let's see, shall we? The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Do that. She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. 
No, this is it. The hidden path. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'll never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? You're just a memory. Truth? Is that you? My tales of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> Druth is my truth. Hmm? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's going on? It'll work. Thank you. It's awesome. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury! Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that walks over Helheim. 
Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. 
That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to her soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? One of them will kill her, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Uh -oh. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful, Senua. Choose a gate, Senua. Two gates, two gods. She's too scared. Which one? Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Emir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure the journey there. Human flesh! <laughs> 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 
and I still hear their cries carried in the wind. Do you hear them too, Senna? Yes. yes, I heard their screams, and I still hear them now. path to Helheim is sealed to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. gate of Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspel and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Life. 
come suffering if you refuse to look at it. She get through. She'll need to find another way. Truth and sand. Find your own path. There's always another way. There's always a way. Find your own way. You just have to find it. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Sert, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword. And at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. She needs to find it. Another fire sacrifice. Another fire sacrifice. Another fire sacrifice. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Remember. Everything will burn. Concentrate, concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn. Then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it, but Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs.
Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
collapse and have the courage to shed your tears. Raise your word and cry! My word is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world anew. No, I see nothing now. Northmen say that what we see as a rainbow is the bridge that goes from the world of men to the world of the gods. For now, they say the frost giants and the mountain giants cannot cross it. But they say that when Ragnarok comes, not a thing in this world will be safe. The rainbow bridge will break under the onslaught of the fire giants riding on flaming steeds. Senua, I have seen the fire of Surt spread far and wide and to our lands Ragnarok is coming How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Surt. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. A fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you.
so can you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. Away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Thank <laughs> you. 
for every battle won, a greater battle takes its place. And so it goes, until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes. Darkness comes. I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers. Your quest. Druth was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world. Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. she could from him until she too could see what he saw of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. Someone has died before. She would do so again. Senua, we each walk these lands gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do.
She has to challenge Valraven. There must be another test. Valraven is magic. If she wants to open magic. the gate, he she'll have to challenge Valraven. 